everyone, welcome to my channel, The Magical Maven. My name is Heather, and today I am doing a reading for the sign of Scorpio, whether you're Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising Sign. And this is a singles love reading for November 2019. Um, it is timeless, so if you're watching it at a later date because you're drawn to it at that time, then just, you know, this is like the energies for the next month or so. So we're going to jump in with the Romance Angels. Okay. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. We have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And I'm hearing, where are you keeping yourself hidden? This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay. So why are you keeping this to yourself? Why are you keeping this hidden? Um, if there is someone you're interested in, why aren't you going for it? Okay, so we have <laughs> religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So, yeah, this doesn't have to be religion. It could be your, you know, path, purpose in life. And let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, you might be concerned because there might be other things at play right now in your life um, that's going on. So maybe you're you're like, okay, maybe this isn't the right time for you. You know, even though, you know, you're watching a singles love reading, um, maybe for whatever reason, like you feel like there's other things that got to come first or, but for a lot of you with a let go of control issues, I think it's a thing like with the religious factors, it's more about maybe a lesson for you as a soul of, um, like with this one, allowing things to unfold naturally, you know, not being controlled because control is ultimately out of a state of fear and fear and love are opposite vibrations. So obviously if you are dating someone, you know, that could potentially be a love, you know, um, a relationship, you obviously don't want to bring fear into that connection, right? So you, you want to do so with an open heart and open mind. So I think for you, like there might be... And of course, you know, like, not just, you know, say this, but, but, you know, like there could be this issue of possessiveness, you know, which is a trait that, you know, can be of Scorpios. Um, and again, that's not to say, you know, anything bad, you know, all, each sign has its more positive or and or negative attributes. It really depends on the person. So th this doesn't have to be for all of you. Um, it could be possessiveness or for some of you, it could just be like, I mean, it's about like not wanting to come out of your cage and I don't know what, you know, maybe it's like the self-limiting prison that you've had your put yourself in where for whatever reason you don't want to seek out the company of another is what I'm getting. And, and I always, whatever wording comes through is what comes through. It's not mine. It's what I'm getting. <clears throat> so for whatever reason, you know, this is going to resonate for everyone differently because it's going to be, you know, every such a situation is going to be you know, different. But for whatever reason, there might be something you feel like you can't let go of, um, or there's things you're dealing with, or it's just, I'm getting, I'm like getting not the right time, not the right time, but when is it the right time? You know, because again, there's a possibility that there's someone that you're interested in, that you have a crush on, that I'm not getting so much anything has happened with because we got flirt and then this could be the one. So it's like a potential person. So whether this is someone you already know of or someone coming in. I don't know. It's just for some reason it's like it's you're giving off this energy of you're not wanting something. And whether that's real or actual, I mean... Because you could say that, but then if you're watching a singles love reading, you know, it's like, okay, well, obviously, you know, it's not entirely true because you're watching this, but let's see another card for Scorpio. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So yeah, I think maybe, you know, it's like, I think you've been wanting this for a long time. Like, so maybe you've been single for a while and maybe that's something that's like you're having to get past because you've been on your own for so long that you don't it's like you don't recognize you wouldn't recognize yourself with someone you're just so used to being on your two feet so even if you know this person that you finally have wanted has come through you're just like 
I don't know if you're like, I don't know if I want it right now. Or, you know, I, I don't know. I, you're like, uh, you're torn, you're undecided. Cause I think it's like, this is something you've manifested, like, you know, with the calling in your soulmate where you've been wanting this. So again, like if you've been single for a while, maybe it's something, this is out of your element. That's where you got to let go of control because you're like, Oh, I've been out of the dating game for a while. I don't even know what to do. And I'm, for some reason, I'm hearing more power to you. So I don't know, like, if you're thinking that whatever you're doing is giving you more power, you know, by, you know, being on your own or not taking that next step. Um, I don't know. It's like there's a thing with power. Okay, so we're going to look at the Heal Yourself Oracle cards. Scorpio. Discover your life purpose. So remember I said religious factors didn't have to mean religion. It could be like regarding your path and purpose. So maybe there's something that you have been working on and you haven't attained it yet or you have, but there's still like more work you need to do. So maybe this is where you're like, okay, no, I want my focus to be here. So even though I've called on this person I've been wanting, it's not the right time because I, you know, I've, I've been waiting and I've been patient. So I'm just going to be patient longer because this is what, you know, I want to do. And again, it could be something you're still trying to control or limit yourself in a sense, because it, it could be scary for you. If, again, if you've been single for a while, if you've been wanting, you know, to manifest a love in, and then you finally get it and you're like, Oh, you know, you know, it's like, okay. Um, that fear kicks in. So Let's look at another card. Um, that Those came for another sign, so I'm just going to shuffle more. If they're meant to come back, they will. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Okay, well, they came back out. So, we have love. And I heard something about the rear view mirror. So you could be looking back to like pass. Okay, that's it. So in my last video in the uh, Libra, my nose started itching out of nowhere. So I was like, okay, this could be a sign for someone. And now I'm getting it now for you guys in Scorpio as well. So there could be like, if you are wondering if this person is interested in you too, like I'm getting that they are thinking of you because I'm, my nose is itching. So, you know, like they say, like it's, um, if your nose is itching, someone's thinking of you. So I'm getting that that's kind of what's happening. So if you're like, oh, wondering about this person, um, they are thinking of you too. It's like not one-sided. And then we have courage. So this is where that fear, you know, it's like you aren't being courageous, you know, because it's like, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's what I'm getting to. Okay. So with control, like maybe you have built up a certain fantasy in your head, right? Because in a fantasy, we can control that. And then you manifested this person that you've been wanting, um, you know, whether you knew of them or not. Um, but you're like, oh, you know, there's this connection there. So now it's like out of your control because whatever would happen in real life, that's, you know, it's not just up to you, you know, it's up to both of you. And you're like, oh, is it gonna match what I've been wanting, fantasizing about dreaming? So that's something too that came through. Then we also have unleash your creativity. So remember with what I said about life purpose. So some of you might have a creative calling or something you're trying to create. It doesn't necessarily have to mean something creative. It could be something that you're trying to build even from the ground up I'm hearing. Um, or you have, but it's like there's more um, work again that you need to do. And it's just like you feel maybe it's easier for you to put towards your efforts into your purpose than it is to this new person that now you're a little shot gun shy of. Yeah. Okay, let's see. The Black Moon Astrology cards. Okay, and I'm getting like drawn to ask you, why are you sad? So like, if you are sad, like ask yourself why, like what, where is that coming from? Okay. So 
So we have Mercury retrograde reinvention. So actually, so right now, this is the end of October 2019 um, when I'm filming. And so actually October 31st on Halloween, we actually, Mercury does go into retrograde, but you could feel its effects before. So since this is a November reading, obviously Mercury is gonna be in retrograde for most of November because Mercury in retrograde is in for like three weeks um, for like about three times a year, sometimes four. Again, you could sometimes feel its effects before and after, but the actual retrograde period itself is about three weeks. So this could be a time where something happens in this connection or maybe so whether it's like maybe you meet this person then or something starts happening with this person and I don't know why I'm getting fizzle and a sizzle so it could be something where you didn't think it was going to happen and then it does because the fizzle then a sizzle I don't know that's what's coming in <laughs> So they're definitely, and with Mercury in retrograde, they actually say it's not good to meet someone new during your Mercury in retrograde, but um, Mercury, because like retrograde periods are always a time of replanning, reassessing, re-going over what already is, you know, not, it's not a good time for new beginnings, retrogrades in general. So with this, like, I'm thinking that you probably already know this person, but however, you know. For some of you maybe not and I'm not you know I'm not trying to put anything on if someone you meet someone new during this time because again this is something that maybe you already had were manifesting and then now it's just coming at that time so but yeah mercury retrograde could represent um you know things could happen like misunderstandings miscommunication so just make sure that if you're wanting things if you're wanting to see how things go, just make sure you're like um, being mindful of this Mercury in retrograde. However, things could come out during this Mercury in retrograde. I'm getting two. So maybe like you'll, um, I'm getting unravel. So maybe during that time, you'll kind of maybe like let go of some of that fear and control. Okay, we have Neptune, Sacrifice. Okay, so maybe for some of you in the past, you did sacrifice yourself in a sense of to another person or partnership. And maybe that was why you're single for a while because it's like you gave this person your all and you are all in. And whether they were, you know, they could have been wrong for you, but maybe at the, you know, because um, obviously, well, it didn't work out. But it's more of like this thing of maybe you really put everything in because at the time you thought they're right for you or you're just you know that all or nothing you were like no I'm in this and maybe that taught you a lot about future like you know you became really self-sufficient and independent on your own and not that you weren't those things before but maybe this relationship put you through a lot and maybe that's something too where you want to make sure whoever is coming in is a completely different person and I think you know that, but it's like part of that control issue possibly. Again, take what resonates. Um, this is a collective reading, so different messages are coming through. And then we have Black Moon Lilith, mystery. So again, I think that this person that could be coming in could be very mysterious to you, um, seductive and alluring, um, much like a Scorpio, you know, um, like yourself. You know, it's like you are drawn to them there's that allure, that appeal, but there's so much you don't know. And that's also a control thing where you're like, I don't know, like you want to know more, but it's just like, you also love that mystery. And that could be part of that whole fantasy world too. And I know the fantasy whole world is more of a Pisces thing, but Pisces, Scorpio, both water signs, you know, you could have Pisces in your chart. Um, let's see. But yeah, definitely letting go of past pain. I'm getting harboring resentment too. And not that it, you know, it's necessarily on a conscious level. It could be deep down and that could be like with the sacrifice. Let's see what else. Oh, lover's oracle cards. So Scorpio, sun, moon, Venus rising. Okay, some of them are, oh here, one fell on me. <laughs> Okay, so we have friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So for you, this could be like, maybe this is a friend, 
that you're wanting to take it to the next level or maybe you want to start off with friends to kind of see what's there get to know them before you like commit because again that sacrifice that you made in the past maybe you would just want to make sure that it's real this time and i'm getting something about like i was getting slow you know like a caterpillar i don't know um so maybe this is a time of where it's like transformation and like you're taking your time because you know that you know you're gonna there's a process like from being a caterpillar to a butterfly and it's like it's like you're not in a rush okay we have acceptance is the key to inner peace at times there are we must accept things as they are there's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control so this is where I let go of the control issues so kind of having acceptance so if you like this person, if you want to get to know this person, it's like, I mean, you might've accepted it, but it might be something that you're still not, you're keeping that on my arm's length because of the control thing. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. This is actually coming out a lot tonight. So even if this person, um, because this doesn't look like someone that you really know or, you know, like you've been involved with. So however, like if this person is a soulmate on a deeper level um, as souls, there could be that love there. So, you know, maybe you share, shared past lives before. And so even though if like in a 3D, you know, um, you know, in our reality, it's like, there's not any love connection that's been made, but maybe like on a soul level, there's this love. We have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So yeah, like not being so serious, like, you know, going out there, having fun, getting to know them, being playful and and love is the greatest healer. So this could be someone that could bring in healing for you. Like I said, if you went through this past partnership that put you through the ringer, this person, you know, could really like, and not to say, like, I never want to say that, you know, you should always heal yourself. You shouldn't rely on that from another. However, I do believe that, you know, other people could help us lead us to a state of healing in one way or another. So maybe they could help heal you. It's still dependent. You know, it's like, even when, if someone does energy healing, like I, like I could do energy healing. Um, so say I do an energy healing on someone. Yeah, I'm the healer, but also like ultimately I'm just like the channel um, because it's also dependent on the person who's being healed if they're going to accept that healing. So I hope that makes sense. But um, yeah, definitely it's like, okay, they could help facilitate this growth, this healing. And it's, but again, it's has, it has to be something you're willing to receive and accept. And that's maybe where this acceptance card is coming through. And we also have forgiveness. Stop for focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So definitely this past energy, this could be from a while ago. Like I, like I said, I got some of you could have been single for a while. Um, I mean, some of this, for some of you, this could have been fresh, you know, it's, again, it's going to be different. But you kind of have to forgive and let go. You know, it's like that saying, "You forgiveness isn't for the other person, it's for you. And, and even if, you know, like <coughs> you've forgiven them, it's like someone could still be in our energy field or attached to us unless we do our cord pulling and our energy clearing. So that could be something too, um, you know, where it's just like, you might have forgiven, you might have moved on, but you still like, it's still kind of having an effect in you um, from you moving forward. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, the archetypes. So um, an archetype card for yourself. Oh, okay, that was a lot. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and take them. There's three, so just take what resonates. We have Don Juan. So maybe it's like, and it's funny because it says spotlights your positive seductive qualities. And like what I said, Scorpio is seductive and maybe this person to you is seductive. So maybe there is this party that wants to move this person that wants to like sweep in and like, 
with your seductive ways and like, but it's like you're, you know, holding yourself back. So again, this could be like a fantasy based thing where you're thinking about it, but it's like you haven't taken that action. Um, poet expresses soul insights and symbolic language. So maybe for some of you, um, you're someone that is a poet or as a writer or with your creativity. Cause remember you got your unleashed your creativity and your life path um, and purpose. So for some of you, this could be regarding your work and maybe like you might, um, this person maybe could inspire you with your work. So maybe you'll write a poem about them or write a story or um, paint a painting or it's like there's some aspect where you might, they might be your muse. And I think they will be supportive too of what like, what you're trying to unleash, what you're trying to unveil regarding your path and purpose. And Samaritan refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. So this shows about like, you're willing to like lend a helping hand. So maybe like you've, you could have offered help to this person or maybe it's something you're gonna try to in the future because you wanna show that um, you're like, you're needed or you could help. So yeah, it's like, you want to show them that they inspire you, that you could be of service to them or help to them. Okay. So those are different messages coming through. Okay. So then let's look at an archetype card for this person, um, that is coming in for you. And I, for some reason I'm getting, there's no point. So I don't know if it's like some of you are thinking like, um, there's no point cause you already know who I'm talking about, or if there's no point because you're like, if you haven't met this person yet, you're thinking that it's not something in the foreseeable future. I, so that could be something like a, as a confirmation that that's what I'm getting from you. But again, not for everybody. Okay, so this person coming through. Interesting. So we have martyr. Exorcist. <laughs> and rebel. Okay. All right, so with the rubble, you could see this person maybe as a badass. Like maybe you feel like, I don't know, like, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting take no prisoners. I don't know, like I feel like it's like, you feel like this person like is a rubble, you feel that they're outspoken, you feel like you wouldn't wanna mess with them. I don't know, cause maybe you feel like they're just very in their power. But in a positive way, because it's like, you know, it, I don't know, but I was getting more like the badass. So like the rebel, like maybe they're really cool and confident. <coughs> oh, and I mean, Dorinda how like she looks very relaxed. So maybe you feel like this person seems cool and confident and relaxed and chill. And you're like, um, and you're not feeling that internally and they seem so like, sure of themselves and then it makes you feel like I'm not playing it so cool. like you don't want to show that you know you're feeling and that's again like you know how we portray ourselves doesn't mean it's always how we are feeling internally but you might just see them as like like and I'm getting like not giving a fuck like not in a sense of like not caring about you but like just like they're like they just own who they are and they're, you know, comfortable with who they are, the cool, confident, like I said. The exorcist, um, the light attribute is freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. Okay, so this could be for very limited of you, but some of you can maybe see this person as they've confronted their own demons as you have. So maybe you see that you both have gone through the same things, like like the same issues, you, like um, 
So maybe you have similar backgrounds or similar past relationships or there's certain things you have in common and maybe you feel like, and I'm getting slayed the same dragons. Like there's certain things where you feel like you both have weeded certain things out. Like you have something, you have something in common with them, like a, a common ground, um, not just as in shared interests, but things you've gone through. Like, yeah, like I said, similar backgrounds or upbringings or a past relationship or something where you both have bonded and have cleared this out of your life. And maybe that's something too, you might not even be aware of yet. This could be something like in the future you realize and you're like, oh, but it's like, it's like, okay, are you going to get a chance and get to know that about them? With the martyr. It says learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself for a cause. So with the Samaritan and then that they got martyred, like, it's like, you might both be someone that like helps people but you both had to learn about not sacrificing yourself. And that's funny because again, we go back to the Neptune sacrifice card. So I'm getting that it's like you both maybe are always willing to lend a helping hand. You both have that same energy of being a giver and being caring towards people. And maybe that in the past people have taken advantage of that, but now you're both coming to this point where you're not going to, um, lead to self-sacrifice so maybe again it's like it's where you're mirroring each other you have like similar energies so that's interesting so whether you're aware of them or not okay and then the gilded tarot so scorpio sun venus moon rising seven of swords i was gonna you're not sure of yourself and like you don't want to turn a blind eye. So maybe this could be like, you're not sure whether to trust your feelings or not, because maybe you felt they misled you in the past. Like, you know, if you feel like, again, like you don't want to be in that past relationship partnership you were in. So maybe there is this like feeling of like warding off the competition. And it's, it's weird. Cause like I'm, I'm getting competition, but it's like, you're warding off someone like a potential person coming in your life because there's this guardedness because you don't want to get into old ways. But again, it's like, there's a difference between like you having a gut feeling and it being intuition versus you're being triggered by fear. And this has come up a few times tonight where I've set, mentioned this. Um, so it's like, you might be feeling like, that fear and, and it's not a gut feeling it's just you're feeling that fear you're being triggered okay so what does scorpio need to know about this person okay, that was too many cards let's only see a couple scorpio need to know about this person okay those cards came up before for another pile Hold on i'm gonna try to clear it Make sure Scorpio energy, this person coming in for you. Okay. There's someone that you're definitely tempted by physically, passionately, sexually, because you have devil and ace of wands, but I don't think this is like devil energy as in like toxicity. I feel like, look at all this, the fire and the passion. Okay. And I'm... <laughs> I'm getting like this image of like pinning someone down <laughs> um, in a passionate way. So, um, yeah, definitely. I feel like this is more, this is about that physical attraction, that passion, that fantasy you want to unleash this. Oh my God. Okay. So you know, how I got unleash your creativity. Okay. That's funny. So if you are someone that's not in a creative endeavor, this unleash your creativity. It could actually be sexuality for you because your sacral chakra, um, which is the second one deals with creativity, sexuality, desires, and emotions. So the same place from creativity as in sexuality. So for you, actually, for some of you, like some of you, it is creative for some of you, it's sexuality for some of you, it's both, but definitely this could be about you're wanting to unleash this sexuality, this passion that you have. I don't know, but I'm getting like you taking a step back. Like, 
I mean, this is a new beginning for you. Okay, this is funny. <laughs> I get different songs sometimes, and it, sometimes it's because like a word triggers it. But I'm I'm getting the song P "My Pony" by Jin <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so I'm if you don't know the song, um, go ahead and play it. But um, <laughs> it's just funny, like that's a song that's coming through. Yeah, this these flames of passion. Okay, some cards just fall on the floor. I mean, like, what you're ready for is ready for you, but you have to, like, come forward with the Four of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune is what I was getting. And I still hear my pony in my head, so... Aw, like, okay, this kind of made me a little sad for some reason. Oh my god, and I think I asked you all, like, why are you sad? So we have Three of Swords, and we have Ace of Cups, and then we have the Hangman. So, I don't know, for some reason, I just kind of felt sad, and I was like, aw, because it's like, there's this new love coming in, but it's like, it's like you're holding yourself back, and the sadness, and I don't even know, it, like, Again, for some of you, this could be from a long time ago. This could be fresh. But, like, I don't know. I just kind of feel, like, sorry in a sense. Because I feel like you're not seeing what's there. Because, I, you know, it's not just, it's not just going to be physical. I mean, because you have the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning. And the Cups energy is emotional. It's love. So, I mean, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Like, Fire and water, they're both feeling energies, you know, like the feelers, you know, where earth and air is like the thinkers, you know, um, water and fire are the feelers. So it's like you're showing this new beginning where it's not just going to be about like sex and passion and, you know, like physical attractiveness. It's also like emotion based and love. So I'm getting like, don't deny yourself. It's not only about denying yourself a good time, it's denying about this partnership that could very well be. And again, going back to hearing the genuine. <laughs> so I think maybe, you know, you could even be skeptical, like maybe you could think that's all there is, or maybe it could start off that way even, but then it turns into this. So for some of you, there is a possibility that maybe something has happened like that, but it's turning over a new leaf where it's not just physical, it's becoming emotional. So for a select of you, this is something that's already happened, this passion, and it's going to move to this, possibly, if you let your guard down. But for some of you, it's like, it, it could be like, this is what's going to happen. It's going to start with this, then move to this, or it's going to be both at the same time. And I'm getting wham bam thinking man, but like in a way of like this comes like all crashing down at once. I don't know. <laughs> Any more messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus rising? King of Swords. Okay. So this is an air sign, um, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you know, this, you know, even though it's a male in the card, it could be male or female, whether you're watching for a male or female, but you could possibly have air in your chart. And so I would, you know, look and see, um, but this is, if not, this is just about like you being con not connected to maybe your emotions and heart. This is more about you trying to be, um, you're more in your head space, you know, in the mental of like thinking like things through, you know, you might be like, trying to use logic and trying to like use your intellectual mind um not necessarily logic but you're you know you're trying to be an intellectual or trying to be a thinker think your way th through things but with love you can't think your way through things right so you're trying to like decipher like okay oh and you might not be speaking your truth because also i'm getting like 
drawn to the throne in here is blue and the blue is the color of the throat chakra and that deals with you you're speaking your truth as well as your creative expression so for those of you who are again like in the creative fields if you're blocking your throat chakra from the creative expression it could be like affecting you both ways um so that's something for you to look into as well if you feel like um you can't express yourself you can't speak your truth Okay, and it was funny because I was getting someone hiding behind a mask and then the high priestess came out and she wears a mask in here. So, okay, I definitely could get like, for some of you, like this could be like you and them. And again, like the high priestess, this could be something like with the, your intuition, like something you know of, like you know something is there deep down, whether you want to admit it or not. It also, like I said, with the energy of this person, like alluring, mysterious, this could definitely be with the high priestess. Like you, there's only so much that you see, only so much you know, and you want to go deep because as a Scorpio, it's like you, you know, you have that depth, you know, you don't want something on a just surface level. And I think you know that this person has depth, but you just haven't discovered it yet. Okay, so any last messages for Scorpio? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so this is actually a beautiful way to end the reading. So we have the Knight of Cups, which is like the wish fulfillment card. The Page of Pentacles, which is about communication, um, you know, pentacle energy, stable, secure, grounded. And then we have the Ten of Cups, which is like the total emotional fulfillment. So definitely like For some of you, yeah, this is definitely someone you could see yourself with for the long haul, someone you might choose to have children with. Um, this is someone you possibly could move in with one day. So definitely with the beginning of the reading where it said this could be the one, hold on, let's go back to this one. Cause yeah, calling your soulmate. So yeah, this definitely could be a soulmate that you might build a future with, a foundation with, that you could have a home with, that you might marry, that you might have kids. And again, like, for everybody like what you want in life it's going to be different there's no um you know i'm not you know here to tell you to live some conventional life by anyone's rules i'm not i'm just saying that like if you want any of those things it's a possibility with this person because it's like whatever you've been wanting love partnership wise in the future is kind of what's coming to you and it's possibly this person And if it's not this person, it's kind of, it'll like open you up maybe to the next person. But I think for a lot of you, this could actually be the person. And I'm hearing awe again. So I don't, <laughs> but this time it was like, before I was getting awe like as in a sad thing, but this time I got awe like as in more of a cutesy kind of thing. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up there. So um, feel free to check, Not you know, if you're watching this Sun, Moon, Venus Rising, make sure you check out for all your placements because you might see a story as a whole or maybe one video might, you know, say your Venus sign might resonate more than your Sun sign. But if this did resonate, you liked it, feel free to like, share, uh, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I send you all love and light.